prophesy for your destiny help us every man ordained by god to respond to you favorably this year and for whatever reason maybe by demonic intrusion their attention has been taken away from you i speak to the north the south and the east and the west i command your helpers to gravitate towards you i command your helpers to gravitate towards you gravitate towards you i don't know what has covered your glory but in the name of jesus may that grace for visibility rest on you now let it rest on you now i say it again whatever has covered your glory so that those who honor you cannot find you i lift you by prophecy rise to a position of visibility rise to a position of visibility whoever needs to send for you in the name of jesus may the voice of favor call them may the voice of favor call them may the voice of favor call them whoever must send for your family in this period whoever must send for your ministry whoever must send for your value may favor compel them to call you from the depth of my heart i pray for you as we have received freely may this grace called favor rest upon you now may this grace called favor rest upon you now may this grace called favor rest upon you now i speak to you obtain unusual kindness from men unusual acceptance with men unusual access to the hearts and the resources of men let somebody for the sake of the kingdom for the sake of your family carry that grace carry that unction carry that grace grace for extraordinary finances in the name of jesus finances that will not distract your passion finances that will not steal your heart away from god that the more you have the more you love him the more you have the more you need him the more you have the more you seek him the more you have the more you serve him misfortune these are calamities that plague people you get up in the morning and something evil must happen by the time it is evening i pray for you i don't know who that person is but let the power of god wherever you are spirits causing misfortune aborting prophetic opportunities be set free now be set free now be set free now my god fire is burning in this place be set free now be set free now the plague of negative occurrences negative patterns around your life negative patterns it happened to grandfather it happened to father now it's happening to you in the name of jesus those patterns are broken now 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 in the name of jesus the spirit of delay tying people in one place my god fire is resting on people now delay over jobs delay over god's prophetic word you are going to shout jesus and as you shout that name anyone who has been a victim of delay your deliverance comes now are you ready one two three shout jesus Delay! Broken now! Broken now! 
that cause broken now broken now bring them out look at me having I've taught you does not distract you having does not interrupt your holiness the holiest God of all is the owner of the heavens and the earth it did not affect his holiness that means when what God gives you affects you it is not what is in your hand that affected you is the reaction it made with the state of your heart when money destroys it is not money that destroyed money simply met with a corrupted heart that was already destroyed when fame destroys it is not fame that destroyed fame only reacted with a heart that is corrupt anything becomes its best version or worst version pending on how it finds your heart the state of your heart can make good things become evil the state of your heart can purify anything he says to the pure all things including your having wealth including your rising to the pure all things are pure if a pure thing comes to an impure person that corruption in the heart will spoil everything so when people leave god and misbehave because of finances it is not finances money is like a gun it depends on who holds it if an armed robber holds that gun he will destroy with it but if a military man holds that gun he will do much with it most people today have misrepresented god either through finances or anointing or fame it is not the fame or the finances or anointing that destroyed them is that their hearts were corrupted and they did not stay with god for the refiner's fire to purify their heart so whatever came it met death within the heart hallelujah I'm saying this to you so that when this word begins to work in your life, I refer you to Deuteronomy chapter 8 from verse 13 to 17. Let it not be that when you have built houses, when you have done all these great things, when your destiny in life and ministry, when your gold and silver is multiplied, when God has given you rest roundabout, that you will say my power and the might of my hand has given me this. He says, but thou shalt remember the Lord your God. The side effect of being in plenty the side effect of finding rest men forget God they forget where he brought them from they forget his messes I'm seeing a word misfortune a thousand cubits is being measured to you in the spirit it's time to step into another dimension of ministry this weak ministry without power no you can't do ministry that way it's time to do ministry with power ministry with grace with signs with wonders intercessors grace is coming on you now intercessors grace is coming on you now the grace to stay the grace to pray and the grace to see it to stay to pray until you see what you have prayed for happen let that grace rest on you now there are people receiving graces to teach prophetic teachers access to the mysteries of the kingdom i'm praying for you let that unction rest upon you now sound exegesis of the word male or female that grace is locating you right now by the spirit of god impartation worship us songs it's time for new songs new songs new songs new sounds hear them in your dreams hear them in your visions hear them as you pray hear them as they worship psalmistry at another dimension the davidic order of songs let it well up from your spirit man in the name of jesus 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 wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement 
I have taught you this, but let me say this. Wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement. You don't beat your chest and say, I have achieved this. No. Wealth in the kingdom is a trust. He gave unto some five, to some two, to some one. And to tell you it is still his own, he came back and said, tell me what you did with it. The one who made five out of five received commendation. Two out of two received commendation. The last person, you would think because you were given already, it was his to do whatever he wanted to do with it. He said, you are a wicked and unprofitable servant. I can tell you this without missing words. We are in a prophetic season where God is looking for men and women he can trust. Make reference to my teaching, the season of abundance. This is wealth beyond buying and selling. There, there are men and women here and you better believe what I'm saying. God is in the business of searching for men that he can trust with the resources of the kingdom. This is beyond just being prosperous. This is becoming a conduit, a channel for God's prophetic program to happen. I'm seeing the number 17, one seven. That grace right now is resting on people. Father, find worthy stewards, stewards of your resources. In the name of Jesus, I release that grace. Let it find you. Let it find you. You will step into a level of abundance by the Spirit. Abundance by the wisdom of the Spirit. Step into that anointing. In the name of Jesus, that wisdom will cause you to do mighty things for the kingdom. Mighty things for the kingdom. Mighty things for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. see listen to me listen to me listen please there are people who have been mandated to carry gifts all kinds of helps for your destiny my assignment is to be a prophetic midwife to connect them to you I'm praying for you again anyone bearing gifts gifts of help gifts of wisdom gifts of access gifts of ideas meant for you and your destiny and in the name of Jesus, you have not been able to meet together. I declare that connection happens in this season. That prophetic divine connection happens in this season. It happens in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, right where you are, I want you to open your mouth. Open your mouth in the next two minutes. Everything you came here trusting God to do for you. Please don't keep quiet. You are before the God who answers all prayers. Open your mouth and I want you to begin to pray. Go ahead. Connecting across the globe, please pray. God is not a prayer hearing God alone. He's a prayer answering God. Someone open your mouth. The Bible says, Philippians 4 and verse 6. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Someone pray. Pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Turn my morning to dancing. Someone pray. Turn my sorrow to joy. Rise up for my daughter. Rise up for my son. Rise up for my wife. Rise up for my husband. Rise up for the work you have given me. Are still praying there's an impartation that God is doing this is what I'm seeing that's why I just became silent an impartation is a transference of graces this is particularly for ministers of the gospel there are people who have come hungry with their hearts open desperate to receive this is what I'm just seeing like oil this is not water this is oil flowing this is what I'm seeing you see our possibilities in the kingdom and even in ministry 
is predicated upon the kind and the level of grace that is at work in your life. Grace. That impartation, I'm going to minister to you now. Right now, I stretch my hands. Everyone here, Kabari Katoshia, bring them out. The power of God is bringing deliverance right now for individuals and for families. Shame and reproach that everything that makes for shame and everything that makes for reproach, it comes under arrest now. There is a lady, there is a mighty deliverance coming for you. You are a foreigner, you are not a, you are not a Nigerian. You came here in the name of Jesus. I don't know where you are, but let that fire touch you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please play the strings for me. There is an anointing that is breaking business failure right now. This is what I'm seeing. Of course, I know everybody, but there are people who are calling to this and there are people who there are yokes that are holding their hands down. You will be surprised to see what happens now as I pray. In the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Everyone here involved in business of any sort, and it looks like the devil has held on to you. This is Koinonia. This is the house of God. At the count of three, I bring you victory and liberty. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka this is very strange this will be the first time i'm seeing this happen usually when the lord wants to touch states the map of nigeria would appear and then a hand will point to me the states that the lord wants to visit and i'm seeing an anointing and i'm seeing plateau state this is, I'm seeing the anointing, just touching and bringing visitation to people. Now, you belong to that region here, the power of God is touching you and then extending to all those who are connected. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. I'm taking in a vision the same map is open to me and I'm seeing a hand touch emo state right now I stretch my hands emo anyone who help them please this is a sign and a wonder how God does these things that all those who are connected to that territory something miraculous begins to happen Madam, this woman, no, not the back, this one, lifting her hands now, this one. Where are you coming from? Plateau State. Huh? I'm from Abuja here, but I'm from Plateau State. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. You believe that? Yes, sir. What do you do? I work in a non-governmental organization. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is an anointing. Leave her, leave her. I'm going to speak to her too. Where are you coming from? Huh? Abuja here. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? The Lord wants to take bad luck from your life. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being with no face. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Let me pray for someone here. If there is anything that has taken away your identity, 
in the realm of the spirit because you see your identity is what distinguishes you in the name of Jesus Christ let there be restoration now help her please restoration now in the name of Jesus this is my sister I stretch my hands towards you and I pray may God lift you in a way that will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ may God lift you in a way that will surprise you there's someone you've been having severe pain will soon begin to pray for the sick severe abdominal pain this thing started October or November last year and it has not left you the pain is there severe sharp severe pain the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus release her now release her now release her now I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that no one like you Jesus no one like you no one like you, yes, no one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Your faith in God and your faith in the vessel that he uses is the third key that connects you. Third key that connects you supernaturally to the power of God. Now I want to minister deliverance by the power of God. Listen to me. What is deliverance? It's a separation between you and the obstacle. It does not necessarily have to be a spirit most times it's a spirit the gentleman holding the passport come come please hurry up we have to we have to rush ah. who is this king of glory the lord the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. As I saw you lifting that passport, the Lord said, I should use it as a sign to release your entire family. Uh, where are you from? Not where you are. You're... I'm from Imo State, sir. Imo State. Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever, Amen. For thine is the power and the glory. I stretch my hands my friend in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members whether they are following or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I bring liberty right now passport is a token that gives access therefore every door that has been closed over you and over your family according to the word of the Lord you are given unrestrained access right now 
in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you hmm. separation most of us like I was sharing when I was giving the charge there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems the symptoms are there but let me tell you sincerely it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem or the whatever problem most times there are spirits that are back of it Jesus said lose hand I mean he um, it, it told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years when she was loose then he laid hands on her and the healing happened the healing would not happen if the spirit is there so I want to pray for you now you will be surprised that for some of you even before we begin to pray for the sick and let me tell you this when it is time for testimonies testimonies is not only for healing some of you under the anointing here you get up and find out that something has happened to you when it is time for testimonies you can join them too and let's hear what God is doing in your life it's just that there's no time that's why we just limit it to healing miracles alone but there are some of you once you came here you would be surprised that things would just shift like that I hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight remember don't worry a time will come we'll lift it but now I want to pray for as long as I live the devil will not find peace As long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina Kane. That as long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina. You know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property. So that everything that is not you when you see empty houses that are unoccupied people can come and squat there temporary but when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place every squatter will go out i want to pray for you now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name please i want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out we're going to be very fast here there are spirits sitting on the destinies of men there are spirits responsible for disfavor responsible for wickedness there are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities we want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare by the anointing that breaks the yoke by the spirit of grace every family here represented all our viewers following from across the globe following from your homes if there be any entity that is not of the Christ causing all kinds of problems as you shout that name make sure you shout it those who are following from your homes everywhere that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation are you ready now at the count of three one two my god three shout jesus release their destinies now please bring them out release them now release their destinies now powers of witchcraft Powers in the air, territorial spirits, 
sitting upon the destinies of men bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now please whether you're an usher or not just help the ushers I'm sure their hands are limited whether you're an usher or not someone is under the anointing you can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time we are still going to pray there are families under all kinds of yokes you will still shout that name again this time around not just for yourself but for everyone connected to you so that even if they could not make it for your sake are you ready now father visit families may your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families at the count of three one two three shout jesus we set altars on fire in the name of jesus christ we set yokes on fire let them go let them go by the power of the holy ghost let them go open your mouth in one minute and begin begin to declare your release i declare liberty in the name of jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations yokes of darkness manipulations of witchcraft is someone praying release your children release your destiny please pray release your ministry release your business hallelujah hallelujah the lord is showing me two families you are from Kogi state the Lord is taking away the spirit of death I'm seeing this my God Parakatosia wherever that family is represented in whoever whichever individual is here I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now ah, 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 ah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. hallelujah now i'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting god for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad and you've not been able to have that visa this has been for a while is do we have someone like that here it's time for you to go now come please make sure you verify spouse 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 give this man the mic let me don't. how long three years you've not seen your wife yes where is she she's in poland and i came here for a visa and i was denied ah, 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 ah. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. 
Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US? Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her? Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa, it's good for us to listen. We're in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we're saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. <laughs> Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the wave of the sea, God will toss it here and there. It is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices. They are human beings. And in as much as they have a modus operandi, let me tell you, God is able to show mercy and to grant you grace. We are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process. No, we are people of order. But I am telling you that God is able to step in. And many of you will be surprised. Who is doing an appeal? You are the one doing an appeal. Your paper is behind Your paper is there. Go and bring it. I want to pray on it. Your name is to be honored. Now let me pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. Two of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. This is, I saw something that just came from the earth into you. And the Lord is saying it must live. Two of you among those standing here, I stretch my hands. I don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason. But in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, it must let you go now. Two of you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child. Out of her now. Out now. Ah, 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 ah. Please lift this man up for me. Sir, look at me. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos. State of origin? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family that loves you. The kind of witchcraft I'm seeing on you. Because I'm seeing you inside a coffin. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not even, it's not even that somebody from the realm of, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who is already here. And I'm seeing the month of July. You are on your way towards Auchi and I'm seeing an accident. Yet the thing has already finished. I stand by the God of heaven who called me and I decree and declare right now. Oh death, hear the word of the Lord. Let him go now. I command that spirit, help him out of him now. If there is anyone here, the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life, you are walking, but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit. We have been given authority even over the grave. Right now, I pray. Anyone here appointed unto death, be delivered from death now. Can I surprise you? The person who will help you is here now. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord show you mercy. I'll leave it at that. Go. Now for all of you, in the name of Jesus, ah, please don't be embarrassed. The Lord is giving me a very serious... God bless you. I pray for you. Please, you can go back. 
now there is something serious i want to pray for now don't be embarrassed don't be embarrassed but there is someone here there is a spirit that is not you are not a bad person but when this spirit comes on you you can steal anything even if it's inside the bank you are not a you are not a wicked person this is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought it's not like you're a criminal but this thing has brought you embarrassment i want to pray for that person now i usually would not i would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere but i want to pray for that person please if you're here don't waste our time god wants to bring you deliverance now this addiction of stealing you came here sincerely and it's in your heart come and stand though let's appreciate them as if, if there's someone like that come on. praise the lord please when you identify them allow them if they are coming from outside this place let them come to stand i want to pray for them very quickly very quickly can be male or female when it has to do with demons it doesn't matter whether you are please god bless you my dear brother you are not the only one i want to pray this is a family of faith in fact hold on let me use the opportunity right now this is a family of faith and i'm not going to mention any particular thing but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction any kind addiction is something that has control over you when it comes upon you you have no control until it destroys you come and stand here right now quickly god wants to set you free quickly please come and stand god bless you anything at all addiction is destroying people don't sit back there you know that this is your chance come and stand before jesus and while you stand be praying don't just be looking at me please hear me you don't have to come if you have a child you should if you are the one who is who is the victim of this please come the lord will be setting you free but if you are standing for someone maybe your spouse or a child or whatever please just sit where you are for the sake of space move forward small those of you in front they are so are you, are you seeing look at this now this is not to condemn them listen my my beloved people look at me we're a family that loves jesus and loves you passionately it is the job of the church to build and to help so there is nothing to be embarrassed about just make sure that as you are coming you are really sincere to be free quickly come addictions my god from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea your name is to be hallowed. Now listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? please um if if the if the hall is full they can just stand where they are or if, okay those who are already inside they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their leds it's the same effect if not this place will soon be rowdy let's just take it easy please protocol be easy with them so that no one people you see these precious people are coming because they are tired can i tell you counseling can only go so far in helping addictions drunkenness masturbation pornography every kind of thing they are spirits and let me tell you the truth it is not about being good or bad it's about being a victim of wicked spirits these spirits are territorial 
I'm sorry to say it, but most of them come from social media. Most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages. You gather 10 people and I can tell you 7 out of every 10 people are suffering addictions. But can I tell you, you came here for a miracle service. Because some of you, let me tell you what happens. Look up please. Let me teach you how these spirits work. You see, the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, hallelujah hold on there is there is one person here you inject yourself who is that let me see your hands like i'm seeing a syringe now i don't know if the injection with what but i don't know if it's inside or, don't be afraid who is that i'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe who is that Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why this is a lesson to the body of christ most of these people you see have at least one christian near them but this our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made you think these people standing are wicked people some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know by this week may god lift you everyone under the sound of my voice who has been bound by witchcraft of any kind at the count of three let those chains be broken now one two three break now break now break now break now break now break now break now, break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. I command those chains to be broken no matter how long they have tied you tied your family tied your destiny in the name of Jesus be broken right now chains of poverty chains of sickness afflictions of any and all kinds be broken now bring them out mysterious chains afflictions in the dream all kinds of things, eating demonic things, going to satanic places. I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit, remove names from covens in the name of Jesus. This one I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus. Any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven, right now as you shout that name, let fire burn everything right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let it be burnt now. Let it be burnt now. Every ordinance, every ill speaking, Every ordinance be broken, be broken, blotting out every handwriting, be broken in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing close to you, please bring them. There's a reason I ask you to bring them. The ushers are limited, my apologies, but please help them. Chains, 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 chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I'm hearing Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. What is it that has to do with ancestry? 
that is tying down people from that region. Right now, you are from that state. Anything that has happened, that has tied you down, be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing call this state. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to families. If at all they marry, the women must return back to their parents' homes. I'm praying for you. I don't know what curse and what yoke is upon such families. But right now, in the name of Jesus, by the authority that is in the finished work of Christ, let that curse be broken now. 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 I'm hearing in my spirit shame and reproach. Hear me. I preached the message here last year called Ichabod. There are many of you as you are standing now. There is no dignity and no honor in your life. Everything that represents honor for you and your family has been taken away by darkness. Can I pray for you? That veil, I, I tell you, I see the power of God resting on people right now. Every veil sitting on your head, covering your glory, bringing shame and reproach. I tear that veil now. 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 I'm hearing a name Jennifer. Jennifer. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. Let me tell you, if God locates you, that's the end of it. Mm. Jennifer. I want to pray for you. There is one of you, I'm seeing that people don't rise. There's a spirit, I'm seeing like, like stones. This is what I'm seeing. Father, I don't know what altar has tied down Jennifer's destiny. But right now, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. There's someone they call you Junior. Your name is Junior. I don't know. Junior. That's what they call you. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. They call you Junior. I want to pray for you. Please make sure you don't tell lies. If you are not Junior, sit back quietly so that we don't waste time. Junior. There's someone, the power of God is coming on you. You work in UBA. United Bank for Africa, there is trouble. I need to pray for you. UBA, you work in UBA. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I'm praying for that gentleman. You are a male. In the name of Jesus, every conspiracy that is about to lead to your losing your job because you came here this night. What God says to one, he says to all. In the name of Jesus, anything that wants you to leave what God gave you, whether it's a job, whether it's a position, I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Junior. Why am I saying ladies? You are called Junior? Okay, Jennifer. Junior. Father, my friend, God is going to use you mightily. This man. Eh? I don't know you. But you need, you need God to train you and build you. But there is a mighty man of God that is coming out of you. I'm praying that the grace of God will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every pit the devil is digging for your mother to enter and die. Because you have come here. They are exempted from death. They are exempted from death. I just saw light come on you. And the Lord is telling me that everything that represents reproach is living right now in the name of jesus be 
believe what you are seeing no because what god is doing here he's doing the same thing in your life now he's doing the same thing in your family now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah